This is the type of mesquite that's much better suited for the leaf spray method than for the stem spray method because as you can see, it has a multitude of basal stems. The leaf spray method can be used on about any type of mesquite. This multiple stem plant here would be well suited for leaf sprays. On the other hand, it would not be ideal for you trying to use the stem spray. The only limitation to the leaf spray method is, is the height of the plant. The large mesquite behind me would be too large to try to hand spray. Leaf sprays can be applied with a variety of equipment. The simplest equipment is a hand pressurized garden sprayer. For larger acreages, the backpack sprayer works very well. Or you can use an all-terrain vehicle equipped with a tank and an, and an electric pump. Regardless of the type of sprayer you use, we recommend an adjustable cone nozzle with a medium-sized orifice to deliver a coarse spray such as an X6 or an X8. With the leaf spray method, you spray the foliage lightly until the, the leaves glisten, but not excessively to the point of runoff. However, it is very critical to spray all parts of the plant so that all the leaves have a few droplets of the herbicide. For leaf spraying, we recommend a combination of two herbicides, Remedy and Reclaim. And each of these is added at a concentration of one half of 1% 1 of the total spray mixture. When using leaf sprays, it's very important to add diesel fuel to the mixture at a concentration of 5% along with an emulsifier to make the oil and water mix. An alternative to the diesel fuel and emulsifier is simply to add a surfactant at one quarter to one half percent of the total spray mixture. As with the stem spray method, in order to mix the desired concentrations of Reclaim, Remedy, and the diesel fuel or the surfactant, we pre-measure each of the ingredients and then add them to a spray tank half filled with water. The final ingredient that we add to the leaf spray mixture is highlight blue dye. This is added at one-fourth to one-half ounce per gallon of the total spray mixture. The blue dye helps you avoid missing a mesquite plant or spraying the same plant twice. After all the ingredients have been added to the spray tank that was half filled with water, then we bring it up to the total volume with water under pressure. This agitates the, the mixture, and that's especially critical if you've used diesel fuel. 